My name is Joshua Holmes and I am the CEO of Lightspeed Hosting. Lightspeed Hosting is a high touch, high support data center model. Uh, so we go into markets that are underserved, uh, that have no penetration to virtualization, fiber optics, uh, and we go in, we build out fiber optics or work with networks in that area, and we start to get companies in the local areas to start to virtualize their gear. Uh, things that you wouldn't necessarily do if you had to go over the internet to say in AWS to do virtualization. Uh, so we provide that, that middle layer of support and high speed fiber optics uh, in order to get them to finally convert from a traditional office to a virtual office. So we started with Cumulus about three and a half years ago. Um, we had a lot of assets in other data centers that we wanted to move into our own first built data center. Uh, and so we evaluated Arista, we evaluated Cisco, uh, and we also evaluated Brocade None of them really gave us uh, the administration portion that we really needed, which was most of our staff was all Linux-based system administrators. So Cumulus fit in with the technologies we were, we were already using with our clients. Uh, it made sense for the staff that we had already built up, so we didn't have to train someone uh, to get a new certification or learn a new product. Uh, in addition, as a side benefit, it was also almost a 50% cost savings uh, versus other solutions that we had looked at. So each data center that we build out, we use Cumulus usually for the core, leaf spline, uh, and in some cases the entire build out. So from an ISP perspective, um, for us to have a single platform that we implement when we bring up new clients uh, allows us an extremely standardized and automated process. Uh, for us to provision a new client takes about 30 seconds, uh, which is pretty, uh, pretty miraculous in the ISP world. Uh, but we also have eyes and ears into those clients because we've built software that tie into Cumulus to give us an idea of what's happening with each of the endpoints that we have. By having Cumulus overlay our core network and all of our endpoints for our RSP, um, we put ourselves in a position where we kind of manage them pretty universally without having to uh, have specialists in you know, one-off gear that might only serve as a DMARC or, or a router in some, some cases for our clients. Uh, our mining operation was a new venture this year. Uh, we had a two-year plan to build out that, that facility. Uh, we did that in about four months instead of two years. Uh, so it presented uh, an interesting challenge. So uh, because we own the fiber network uh, in our area, uh, we were able to spin up fiber in less than 20 days, full build out, almost a quarter mile, and get Cumulus set up on our edge in the new facility, and then start to build out each of the racks. And, uh, it's a non-high high mission, high critical situation with mining, um, but it's a situation that requires a ton of configuration. Uh, so we built our own software that ties into Cumulus that auto provisions miners as they arrive. So we scan them in, we barcode them, uh, it assigns them to a client, and then it reconfigures the network for the VLAN uh, that they belong to, and you're off to the races. So for us to provision several hundred machines in a day is completely plausible with our Cumulus setup and some of the software that we built. So our traditional devices, uh, they, they put you in vendor lock. Uh, because 35 of our 50 employees are software developers, a lot of the solutions that we build for our clients involve custom software pieces. Um, and because we're primarily a Linux-based uh, virtualization platform, um, all of our developers have a pretty wide range of networking knowledge and Linux knowledge. Uh, for us to build on top of Cumulus allows us to tie into those platforms in a way that you just can't do with uh, another platform. I can't go into the internal uh, switch on a Cisco switch and add in my own plugins, my own source code to run. Uh, so the, the flexibility that we have with Cumulus, we simply can't get anywhere else. And we, we evaluated other white box switching solutions, but those OSs were not as mature and their support model was far behind what Cumulus had. Um, because we only have about 50 employees, having a support model behind it where we can call and get level one support that actually understood high level networking was a huge asset. And it was something that when we evaluated other white box switch players, that was the part that they couldn't fulfill. Uh, and so for us, you know, there's really nothing that fits in our model besides Cumulus Linux. It's the only thing we can really run and sustain the type of environment that we have. So our data center in Medina, Ohio is our network operations center. Uh, that particular facility is about 2,500 square foot, uh, but we'll, we only have room for about 30 racks. So it's not a massive data center. Uh, that sprawls out over the county, however, via private fiber to our other location. So our Valley City mining location has 80 switches, and it's a much larger network. Now it's a very flat network, because once you get past our core routing, we're basically just distributing out the thousands of devices. 
Uh, so there's not a lot of layers to it, but the whole thing needs to be automated in order to properly update devices and connect with devices when they arrive. Uh, so that network is, is probably a non-traditional type network because it's very flat, uh, but the automation that we can implement on top of it saves us a ton of time. Uh, before we did write our own software, we were provisioning by hand every device. Um, and we could maybe do, if we were lucky, 30 devices a day. Uh, so to be able to scan in hundreds and deploy hundreds of devices in a day uh, is a massive savings in actual labor. I think we've seen an interesting trend. Uh, if you've been part of the open source community for a long time, uh, companies like Sun that have been bought by Oracle you know, still remain pretty uh, open source. The products that they create are maintained over time. Uh, and they've always battled against players like Microsoft. But even Microsoft is now going open source with a lot of their products. We're starting to see people who traditionally liked vendors for their brand names and their closed box solutions. We're seeing even those companies become open source finally. And that's setting the tone that open source is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not a uh, negative effect on your organization. Uh, and you still get the support that goes along with the brand name. Uh, so I think over time, especially on the East Coast, we're seeing open source lose all the negative connotations it has with it and have the same reassurance that you see with closed box solutions. That on the East Coast has always been a big issue, whereas on the West Coast, open source is, is not something that's feared. On the East Coast, where business is typically done via brand name, uh, RFP processes, uh, we're starting to see those trends shift finally. Uh, so we're fortunate that we're kind of on the forefront on the East Coast. Uh, in that regard because the solutions we're putting together for clients are ahead of where our competitors are right now. So infrastructure wise we have another data center being built in Atlanta, it's on Pinewood Studios. Uh, that data center is a high electric density data center that's for film industry. So we're seeing 8K raw footage needing to be uh, recorded and moved to a data center in real time along with doing dailies and then also moving some of that footage uh, out of state for rendering. Uh, so it presents a very different problem uh, than a traditional ISP or virtualization platform. Uh, having to process that kind of video requires low latency, it requires near real-time transfer of massive footage, uh, and, and for us to be able to utilize Cumulus on that data center allows us to also tie it in with our network operations center here in Ohio. Uh, so for us to be able to build on the same platform in all of our locations is a massive asset, although it's a different problem we're solving, but the product still works for us.